Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to answer this question. If your database is in full recovery mode, can you use bulk insert task to load the data? Uh, what are the requirements to use bulk insert task? So first of all, to answer this question, we need to understand bulk insert task. Uh, and the, once we will do, do a small demo, at the end of the uh, this video, you will be able to answer this question automatically. So let's go to the SSDT or bids and uh, get familiar with the bulk insert task. So uh, drag bulk insert task to the control for pen, open it. So what we see here on the journal, it is the name and description. The next one is the connection. So what we, we have destination connection and we have to have a source connection. Source connection is, is shown as file. So what does that mean? So it can read the bulk insert task can read only the data from the file. So that can be a text file, a common delimited tab delimited, uh, pipe delimited, or it can be an XML file. The next part is uh, the destination is going to be, see the table, say it is destination table. So what does that mean? It has to has load the data into the table that will be in the, some database. So the next part is uh, the format of the uh, file what we are going to use. So what we have, we have uh, an input file that I have created for this demo. So I have customer file and that has ID, first name, last name, address and phone number with some information. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a table uh, for this file. I already prepared one table so we can save some time. So I have customer table with the same metadata. I have ID, first name, last name, address, phone number, region code. So uh, you have to have uh, prepare your table before you load it. And uh, the next part is uh, go back to the uh, SSDT or bids uh, and let's configure it. Uh, we are loading the data into the customer table so that is in the test database I'm gonna remove this one create a new connection if you are using the same connection manager on the project you will be having this uh, uh, connection manager available you can use the same one and if you don't have it you can create a new one so you have to provide SQL server name or instance name here and the next part is you will be providing the name of the database that you are going to use uh, and where your table exists so test a connection fine now hit ok then next part is uh, select the destination table so we are loading the data to the customer table so we selected this one and now it comes to the file from where we are reading the data so if you guys understand why we are not using data flow task because we are only reading uh, um, text file we do not want to redirect any records uh, we, we we already made sure the file always come with the correct data so if file has any mm, kind of uh, uh, data conversion issues or truncation or anything then it will not be able to redirect it so you need to understand when you are using a bulk insert task so the file has to be in good format so uh, because there is no uh, options for redirecting rows uh, you know on uh, error or a truncation let's make a connection to our file existing file browse to the file customer file hit ok and as we have seen that when we open the customer file it is a comma delimited file and uh, inside uh, our package what we have here already we have already column delimiter is a tab so we need to convert that to the comma rest of that is fine next, next let's go to the options and code page raw uh, char data type batch size batch size is zero right now what does that mean it is going to read the entire file and then insert it into the sql server table in one chunk if we want to convert that to small chunks so let's say you have 20 million records and on each of the million record you want to in uh, commit the transaction so you can put a uh, 1 million here and then what it will do it will read the 1 million record and put into the f into the table and commit them and that's how it will keep working so last row if you know the last row that you want to read you can mention here the first row it is re going to restart from the very first one in our case as we have uh, the header so we need to read from the second one and next options um, really doesn't matter just check constraints um, right now we can 
enable them, disable them. We want to lock the table, we can do it. If we want to fire a trigger, we can do it. Enable identity insert if uh, your table has uh, identity uh, column and you want to enable it and getting the value from the source file and want to put them in, you can uh, check this box. Keep nulls if you want to. Um, if you are getting the blank values and you want to convert them to the nulls, this one can be done and used. So you have different options that you can use. In my case, um, I, I really don't care because uh, this is my staging area and I don't want to check constraints. And if you are doing bulk insert, I, I will say I recommend that you know leave these options uh, uh, as it is and load the data your, to your staging table. So that uh, with no constraints uh, and uh, no identity inserts uh, and table locks and, and triggers uh, and whatnot. So leave this one as it is, load the data into staging table and then uh, once you have the data into staging table then you can um, clean that data, use the different uh, um, SQL statements uh, to remove the duplicate records and then finally insert into your destination. Uh, but it's your choice if you want to use these options and you want to directly load the data into your um, uh, database, uh, that's fine. So let's uh, so sorted data. We really, you know, we're not using maximum error. If you want to say, okay, 10 errors and then fail the task, so you can specify here. I'm going to leave everything to default. Uh, if error happen, it should fail. Go to expressions. We are not using any expressions. Uh, if you want to, you can take a look and uh, see what uh, options we have here. So it has a, a batch size that can be used. We can use some variable to change it if we want. And uh, that value can be passed by using the configuration uh, destination connection manager that we can use some variable and uh, change it uh, uh, when we move to that uh, move package to the uh, different servers. So you have different uh, options and you can configure those properties uh, by using the expressions. So we are hard coding everything right now. So we are fine as it is. Uh, hit OK now. Let's run the SSIS package. Before we run it, go to the da database and check uh, if your package uh, is in full recovery mode or not. So we go to options and we see that it is in full recovery mode. So that's fine. And uh, we do not have any records in this table right now. Uh, run your SSIS package and see if it is able to insert the data when our uh, database is in full recovery mode. So the package completed successfully. Stop the SSIS package, go to the SSMS again, and run your query. So it did insert the records in the table. Let's truncate this table, and then change the recovery mode for this database to uh, something different. So we have full recovery mode, we have bulk log logged recovery mode, and we have simple. Bulk logged is a um, type of full recovery where it keeps the minimum uh, log for the bulk operations. So if you are doing a lot of bulk operations, you can you know set your database to this one. And in simple, we do not have you know a lot of um, we are not keeping the transaction logs, and we ha don't have to take the transaction log backups. So uh, let's convert to bulk log right now and uh, test the package again. Come back. It should work just fine, the same way it worked for full recovery mode. Okay. Now go back to the table and run it and see that records are inserted. If we change the uh, recovery mode to simple, it should work as um, it worked for full and uh, bulk logged. So to answer our question, Yes, whatever the full recovery mode, excuse me, you have for your database or bulk logged or simple, the bulk log, uh, bulk uh, insert task is going to work just fine. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this video and I will see you in next video.